I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises. It might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom, and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together, and we left with a $4,000 tip behind. Give that barber $1,000 for free haircuts. He should have said, anybody, come on. Who wants their haircut for free? Come on. Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He made like 5.30 p.m. You don't get those payments at midnight? Him as a sole person who came to use his talent, his gift, his presence, all of that to help somebody that's full of greed. So you all know Keith Lee, food critic, TikToker, the brother who brings miracles to restaurants and food trucks all over the country. Should have known it was only a matter of time before somebody somebody messed it up for everybody. There's a blessing that comes along with Keith Lee coming to your establishment. He brings attention. He brings business and revenue. Sometimes he also wants to do a little extra something. The internet is a funny place. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mom were praying. Talking together. to the barber? $4,000 tip behind. God, it's amazing. $4,000. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave $1,000 to the barber so we can cut everybody here from free. We want to leave you $1,000 because we can leave you $1,000. Okay, so that's pretty clear. $1,000 for the barber thousand dollars for the braider and i want to tip you two thousand dollars simple as put right <laughs> well of course you know that isn't what happened feel good story so this is the original request video the young lady here name Essa Sherelle. Sherelle did a little dance and she got Keith Lee to come through. She requested and he came through. And he came through and showed out $4,000. Normally that $4,000 would go towards, you know, giving free meals to everybody else for the rest of the day. Well, the $2,000 is actually a tip. So the free haircuts were for the rest of the day and the free, you know, braiding for the rest of the day, I guess. Although those braids can be really expensive. Uh, I don't know about that. So Sherelle feels probably a little bit responsible for this because she got Keith Lee to come there, I'm assuming. So the brother, her brother is the barber. I bet you're wondering how we got here. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee. Mm -hmm. Great. Congratulations. I'm still humbled by the experience. Like <laughs> I am ecstatic. Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. Blessings but now this family. is where the downfall comes in. A lot of y'all was on my live when he said this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. <laughs> Hi, little brother. Yeah. yeah. He wants to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother man, from school. We want to leave you $1,000 to do it. To cut hair. We want to leave you $2,000. And granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me. I charged him $4,000 on his car meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do mm -hmm. right wrong so after everything had died down mind you on top of him tipping four thousand dollars this man left an extra eight hundred and eighty six dollars to feed everybody else that was coming right right but this is where she went wrong i'm in the truck mind you i'm a worker this is your business so i'm doing what you say she tell me after this person which is a third person that's a running tally of four thousand eight hundred and eighty six dollars there that keith lee blessed these businesses with feed everybody else that was coming right right but this is where she went wrong i'm in the truck mind you i'm a worker this is your business so i'm doing what you say she tell me after this person which is a third person that you got to start charging again hmm? hold up hold up that ain't what keith lee asked for i'm, I'm just going i'm just gonna guess that sounds like the owner of this establishment is now veering off path. <laughs> I think we're going somewhere that might be a little different than Keith Lee's intended purposes. For free and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and sh Like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the f did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Hmm? Make it make sense. So, all right, everything was cool. It was time to close down. You know, my friend ran to the store. He helping his mom. He coming out of his pocket with his own money. 
And I looked at her and I was like, so Keith Lee literally just spent $5,200 with you. She was like, girl, I know I'm so excited. Like before I got on here, I was broke. And before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information, it got personal when you played with my baby brother. So everything was mm. cool, calm and collect, right? She told me, she said, look, I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. Yeah. If you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day, correct? So right. this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my mm. friend had me come and help you, and then my brother was really only out there, but you somehow trying to make it seem like, my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his prices on them. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about, we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. Da, 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 da. My main thing was, I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, you will definitely see where I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my so I hit her this morning and was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Nice. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today. So she's basically helping this lady out even further than bringing Keith Lee to the establishment. You know, because I forgot, you got to add in also the money that he spent on the meal that he ate. You know, the, the test, the taste test that he has all the time. Today, you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram. And did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me. But my brother is preparing to leave and go back home. And I'm unsure how he'll get it. Okay, that's a clear distinction. She said, you can keep the $1,000 that was meant for her, which is a very generous thing to do. So she's all, the owner of the establishment is already getting an extra $1,000 above what she's supposed to get. But she wants her baby brother to be paid. That's clear. You can ask my big sister how they how they get <laughs> when when you attack their baby brother. When you do something to their baby brother, it's gonna be a problem. Once he leaves, granted, all I had to do was send it to her. She could have sent it to him. Whatever. She said, "Please call me back so an agreement can be made." But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, "Well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you, my son. <laughs> invite you. So what I'm gonna do is." I'm going to give $1,000 to my son, and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold oh, up, hold up, swole up, hold up. Nah, moms, that ain't how that go. <laughs> that is not how that. She already blessed you by giving you $1,000, and you still pulling up because you said, I didn't invite your brother or you to come. That's cold-blooded, man. See? You can't do right by some people, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's just, it's, oh man, you can't get blessed if you, if you're, ah, man, if you're just, if you're covetous, you can't get blessed if you're covetous of the wealth that you're given. Give freely and you'll be blessed. Look at that. You were already getting free menus. You were already getting free services. It probably would have doubled anything that you would have saved by taking that 2000 extra. Mm. Hold on. Now, I did you a solid by saying, I get money. When I opened my eyes this morning, I had a deposit for $1,500. Right. With her braiding, she's going to get money. You get what I'm saying? And I made money since. So I, I told you to keep my money. But I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Wow. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. My brother don't know any of y'all out here. But when you gave him the green light to post his flyers, after he cut both of your son's head, <laughs> wow. yes, they paid. He wasn't cutting nobody's hair for free. Who the f put that out there? If you cut it hair for free, why are you posting flyers with prices? You get what I'm saying? There's a girl on Facebook, hold on, whom I'm assuming is her oldest son's wife, fiance, whoever she is, this is all lies, just like the free cuts were, because people had to pay. Of course they had to pay. The two people here that he cut was both of the owner's sons. So right. why the f*** would he be giving the owner's sons, whose free mom haircuts. is getting visited by Keith Lee, free cuts? You get what I'm saying? Because it was never advertised. But then I later found out my friend had said he assumed that he was giving free cuts. No, he pulled up to the area because he saw it as an opportunity because we couldn't make it to Jonathan's shop to meet him in time. No one. Y'all didn't hear it on my face. Y'all didn't see it on my platform. Y'all didn't hear it on my brother's mouth say, I'm giving free cuts, pull up to the spot. Do you know how many people would have pulled up? 
He hmm. Lee probably was under the assumption, hell yeah, he didn't even say it. Let's be honest. Keith Lee didn't even say, oh, I'm giving you $1,000 because. He said, I'm giving you $1,000 so you can go and get free haircuts. But bitch, we couldn't even make it out there to get free haircuts because you tripping over $2,000. The principle of the matter is, my brother is from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. My brother is a self-taught barber. He went and got his license just so he can work in a shop. And when he come out here and he posting up with all of his shit outside, and he's saying, yo, I'm selling haircuts, your sons come down and they sit in there, and you gonna sit there and have a nerve to tell me, Keep Lee don't understand. Y'all not even a part of the brand. So I don't feel inclined to give you the money. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Like, Damn. I'm not even playing when it comes to this shit, bro. I'm big on integrity. I'm big on doing what's right. I came out there and I helped you for free. I stood in that little bitty ass hot ass motherfucking food truck to help you because my friend asked me to. And this is the thanks that I get. Wow. I couldn't even get a thank you from you at the end of the day, bro. Like, come on, the man walked up and literally said, I seen your live. I seen this live. The wife even said, hey, Sherelle, let me see that cheer. W was nobody on the live? Like, come on. Well, I know y'all was on the live, but come on, bro. You got your kids in the background fighting for you. Like, it ain't even your kids. It's that one lady who didn't even want to get in a food truck with you in the first place. That's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave a f I would have been at home in my bed. Wow. I would have been at home in my bed. He Lee would have never seen me type shit. The sole purpose of this was so you could get the exposure. You get what I'm saying? You wanted the Keith Lee effect. And we did our part to make sure that could happen. And I can't even say to make sure. To, 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 to kind of hope and pray that it would happen. And it did. You know what I'm saying? I'm screenshotting what Keith Lee put on here. Oh, yeah, and beforehand, that was the email I sent to him today because I, I was serious about my integrity. I was serious about the principle of the matter. If this man came all the way out here and he blessed your motherfucking business with his presence and to say, this shit was good as a motherfucker, then the least you can do is get out of the way of somebody else's blessings and honor it after I already told you, you can keep my band. Who the fuck running around here saying, I don't want that $1,000, you can have it. Who's doing that? And I came and worked for you for free? For free? But today, all of a sudden, you wake up, you got workers. I wanted to leave you $1,000 for doing braids. Wanted to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. By the time Keith Lee left, your mother has closed the shop down. So the goal was for him to return today, right? But you look my brother dead in his eyes last night when he came to spend money at your establishment and told him, you missed your blessing, but I got the money that Keith Lee gave you. I'm going to give it to you when my money clears. But today you wake up and you sing in a different tune. And we want to tip you $2,000. So at what point of it do you feel like you can play God and step in the way and say, oh, I'm going to block this blessing from this young black man who's trying and do what I want to do? And you think your shit gonna mm -hmm. prosper? Baby, I'm gonna make it my personal mission to see that nobody will see sweetly seasoned. You wow. hear me? Let me see if I can find the mother. Actually, the, the son and the mother had their own responses as well. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about. Those were my son's friends. Not the people that were responsible for actually. <laughs> this is how things work, man. This is how things work. And she is going off. It's about the principle. How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this was going to make me or break me. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is the one that told me to go to school and go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. 
And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I won't keep Lee to tell me after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. He already told you to give them the money. He told you to give them the money up front. <laughs> okay. If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and and just to let y'all know she's a scammer. He, he wasn't with me. Oh, Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. Okay, so it really got out of hand after a while. So the brother, the barber, who's owed $1,000 by my accounting, as far as I know, he feels slighted. And so he goes to confront the mother the following day, I believe. And he is irate. Which he probably should be, thinking that he's going to get a thousand dollars and not getting it. The son, this is the son's retelling of that. You came to help a struggling business owner, but you found a way to build controversy around it for your page. I think he's talking about the, I think he's talking about the friend now, as opposed to Keith Lee. The God, if I don't, this is the part that made me mad. They came to the food truck at closing. I was like, it was basically going to be like some type of pew pew session between him and my brother because he was Man, drinking my mom, look at this. her brother talking about he was going to do whatever to my mom. So I'm like, okay, my brother was there sitting in the car just waiting. Like, what you want to do? My just the next day after. It is Texas. They, they do carry. He had got the haircut. So I'm like, uh, uh, we're not doing all this. I'm like, I don't see what's the point. The, her brother's like, I need, need my money now. I'm like, how are we going to give you the money now if nobody has it, bro? Like I told you, I went to the truck. I asked my mom. Nobody had the money. The payment just cleared today. There's no more conversation after that. The payment cleared today. Break him off. Give him his $1,000. You don't have to give the other girl $1,000. Just give him the $1,000 and you'll be out of this situation. Somehow, I don't think that's what's going to happen. Just clear today. He paid with a square. When do square pay the next day, y'all? When do Square pay? He paid at 5 p.m. After 5 p.m. He paid like 5.30 p.m. You don't get those payments at midnight? Like, and I didn't have a thousand dollars. Well, I didn't have a thousand dollars in the bank, but I didn't have it to go and just give. You know what I'm saying? The bank was closed. I can't get your brother a thousand dollars. I said I would give your brother a thousand dollars just off GP, just so that you wouldn't put this stuff on the internet and try to lie and get clout off of it. What you said you were going to do as my friend, you going to sit there and lie like, no, I'm not going to put on the internet because I'm not, I'm just not going to do that. That's not, that's not the mission at all. I'm like, you literally put drama around Keith Lee's name when it doesn't have to be. Like, you're really acting like, she act like my mom was just like, oh, this all my money. I'm not paying none of y'all. Y'all not getting none. And your mother did describe that she didn't feel like they were supposed to be part of the brand or the business. And that she didn't feel like that was part of the deal, even though he clearly they have video proof of him saying it. I believe it would hold up in court if they went and sued y'all for that thousand dollars that they wanted because it was intended for them. So it's not an optional thing. It's not you're going to keep it all. You're going to have to at least come up off a thousand dollars of it. And, and I think that's justified. And I think Keith Lee is going to say the same thing if he has to. So what do you think? Good intentions. What's the saying? Good intentions. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, as they say. What do you all think? <laughs> I'm pretty clear on what I think this is. I think they need to come up off that thousand dollars. They should have did it off the break. But now there's so much negative press and so much drama around this what was supposed to be a positive impact that now it has negatively affected the business. People that are on Sherelle's side now are probably thinking about, you know, how they can boycott. I'm sure the business isn't going up. So the Keith Lee effect in this case has been deemed ineffective by what some could call greed. And that's unfortunate.
because you want to see a business flourish, but you, you, you know, you, I understand you're in a bad position, but you just have to do the right thing and you have to do the right thing. And I think people realize that after the fact, like just giving up the money would have been the smartest thing to do. Cause you could have avoided all this. You could have avoided all this attention, negative press. You know, you might have to even I think somebody mentioned you might have to change the name of the business after this, you know, because of so much negative push on the food truck now as it is. What could have been a beautiful situation as it has been for many businesses around the country that Keith Lee has touched is now stained. But either way, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads. If you want to watch more, please watch one of these videos down below. This is Fawcett Media.